another video. My name is Katie and today is my June haul of books because I can't control myself. However, however, I have probably over almost 20 books here, but I only bought three of them. I'm going to explain how I got the other ones. But first, if you like these type of haul videos, make sure to give it a thumbs up and consider subscribing, you know, if you want to see more videos of me and all my social media is down below also if you want to follow me there. But other than that, let's get into the haul. Okay, so in the month of June, I, like I said, got books. I only physically bought three. Four. Four. I lied, it was four. I lied again because I just bought books the other day. <laughs> and I just bought books this morning, never mind. Right now, I only have four that I physically bought. I will do those other ones in another video. Um, but I, <laughs> on Bookstagram, I follow a page called Pages for Sanity and I will link her down below, but she did a random acts of kindness um, for the whole month. And what you did was you added, you just commented on the post and then you added your wish list to your the Amazon wish list to your profile. And then just random people could go into your wish list and gift you a book. So I did that all month long. And then I had books coming to me all month long. So it was like Christmas all month long and it was just so very exciting and she's doing it again in July it's going to be like a monthly thing so um make sure you follow her if you guys don't already like I said I'll leave her link um her Instagram down below but it was a lot of fun I like gifting books and I like getting books because it saved me some money not a lot of money because I still went ahead and bought books anyways but that's besides the point so we're going to start with the books that I got from the um, book swap, the random acts of kindness book swap. So the first one that I got was the second book in the, um, Charlotte Holmes novel. So it was the last of August and I still haven't read the first book. So I can't really tell you what these are about. And remember, I don't know what a lot of books are about before I buy them or I get them. We've gone over this. But I, this is the first one that I got. This isn't the first one that I got. But this is the first one in the pal because I don't remember the order they came in. The next book is by Sarah J. Moss and it's A Court of Frost and Starlight. And this is the last book. Well, it's not the last book because she just announced that book four, book five. Technically, I guess book five because this is a novel of it is coming out next year so I received this one and I'm actually really excited to read these books but I haven't had a chance to read them yet. Nope. The next book I got was The Honeymooners by Christina Lauren and fun fact I my sister read this book already she read it in a day she really enjoyed it so now she wants to buy she wants to get more of these um books by this these authors because if you didn't know, Christina Lauren is actually Christina and another girl named Lauren. It's two girls. So, but that was another one that I got. And then I was sent Crown of Midnight, which I'm pretty sure is the second book in the Throne of Glass series, which I still haven't started yet. But now I have books one and two. But I've also heard that you should read, um, you should get... Assassin's Blade first and read that first. So if anyone's ever read the Throne of Glass series, let me know down below. Should I read Assassin's Blade before I start Throne of Glass or just read Throne of Glass and then read Assassin's Blade like when it came out like publication wise? Because I don't know. I've heard both so I don't know what's better. And then I got by Aaron Morgan Stern, The Night Circus, which I was so excited because a YouTuber that I watch on here, um, A Clockwork Reader, it's like one of her favorite books. Her real name's Hannah, if you didn't know. But um, it sounds really cool. 
you know, about like the circus only comes at night and but there's also like a competition that's going on between like the two people. I don't know. It sounds really interesting. I just need to get to reading it because I can't read fast apparently. We've gone through this. The next book was Wonderlust. No, it's not. It's not Wonderlust. It's Wonderlost. Wonderlost. Um, and this is by Jen Malone. But um, Haley and Haley in Bookland, she says she really enjoyed this book. And I just like it because it's set over in Europe and it's pink. You see the pink? I love pink. Pink's my favorite color. The cover speaks to me. A lot of covers speak to me though, so because I have no self-control. The next book that I was sent is um, Disney, A Twisted Tale. And this one is as old as time. And it's Beauty and the Beast and it's my favorite because it's my favorite movie. Disney movie, that is. My favorite movie is Titanic, but my favorite Disney movie is Beauty and the Beast. So I'm super excited to get to read this. And I want to get them all. These books are like Pokemon to me. I need to get them all. And then the last book that I was sent was by, um, was from Kristen Hanna, and it is Firefly Lane. And it's actually, if you can see right there, gonna be a Netflix. I don't know if it's a movie or a series, I don't know, but it's coming to Netflix soon. And it kind of spans like, um, over the life of like, of 30 years of these two kids that are friends and things like that. Don't ask me to talk about these books, guys, because I don't know much about them. So I can't say what they're about, sorry. Okay, um, <laughs> the next books, I'll do the ones that I bought myself. I got the first book in A Court of Thorns and Roses series. So I have this, and you know what? I have a spiel, <laughs> I have a rant, because Amazon lost this book. I mean, I got my money back, so it was fine. So I still got this book for free, technically. But they lost it, and then it arrived a week later and it was damaged. So I don't know if you guys can tell, but like the back of this is terrible. It is waterlogged. It's nasty. I'm <laughs> makes me mad, but I'll read it anyway. Just makes me mad because books are my babies. The next three books I got were at Walmart. So go check your Walmart because they're getting really good books in lately. I got the Bromance Book Club. For those of you who aren't familiar with this, guess what? I only know a little bit about it. I know that um, it's about these guys who read romance books to try to fix their marriage, I think. Who's out there? I you. That was fine. I can edit this out. You're fine. I wanted to film two videos so I could um, just work on my paper. <gasps> the, 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 totally. He about knocked over my thing. Oh, look. I have a friend. Hi, Charlie. Maybe I threw it out the window already. Hi. Charlie, say hello. Charlie, say hello to the people. I gotta do two more rocks. You threw a window? You threw a rock out the window? Yeah, for my... I gotta do two rocks. Say bye. Two more rocks. Say bye bye. Ah! Ah! No! Ah! Oh. Uh. The next book that I got was da Daisy Jones and the Six. Um, and I heard that this is actually a really good audiobook, so I might read along with the audiobook. Um, because I think it's supposed to be like in a documentary style, but... I'm very excited to get to read this book. And then the last book that I bought myself that I have here is The Nightingale by Kristen Hanna because I've heard nothing but good things. This is a, such a tome. Do you see this? Am I gonna read this? I mean, I'm, I'm gonna. Fastly? Is that a word? No, probably not. We will see how long it takes me to read this. But uh, again, I've heard nothing but good things. And it's in Paris, right? Is that Paris? Oh, yeah, that's Eiffel Tower. I know my stuff. It's Eiffel Tower. Okay, now, these next books were not my doing, okay? My family 
now that they know that I'm doing booktube every time they go out somewhere they find me books and they just buy me books and I'm pretty sure every single one of these books that I'm about to show you except for one of them was from the Dollar Tree so okay, this this is the only one that wasn't from Dollar Tree um, this was the another uh, Disney twisted tale and this is the Cinderella story so this is love and it's basically oh I didn't even tell you what the other one was about the other one was if Belle's mother cursed the beast so that's kind of like the um the gist of that one and this one is what if cinderella never tried on the glass slipper so i don't know what happened i don't know we'll find out when i read this book <clears throat> when i read that when read more. okay the next book is okay these books i have no idea what they're about so don't ask me uh this one's called the underwriting and it's the little blurb says what if swiping right is swiping wrong um, but it kind of looks, I could tell it was from Target. They got it from Target, but and Dollar Tree got it from Target. Um, but it gives me Gossip Girl vibes and I was big into Gossip Girl growing up. Oh my God, I didn't even talk about that in my reading journey. I loved Gossip Girl. I've read every single Gossip Girl book. I loved those. I didn't even talk about those. I'm weird. And then um, this book is a sequel it's book two in a trilogy yeah. so i can't read this without reading the first one but this is called the speaker and it's book two of the reader trilogy but it looks like i mean the cover is really pretty but i have no idea what it's about so i can't help you i don't want to read the back because it's spoilers i just i'm just gonna have to wait and see what it's about and the next one's called finding fraser and it's about a girl um and she ends up going to Scotland, I think it is. Um, because like, she's in love with like this Scottish fictional character of like romantic fantasies. And she's like, well, you know what? I wanna go find my own in Scotland, which I think is pretty cool. I would love to, I, I, I'd do that. I'd go, I'd go. But um, this, you know, it sounds really interesting, but um, We shall see again with all my other books. We shall see. And then another one here is called The Twilight Wife. I have not a clue. I have not a clue what this is about. Okay. It sounds like she lost her memory and she has no um, memory of what happened after a diving accident. Um, and then flashes start coming back into her life and apparently like her um, marriage isn't as good as her husband says it is and things like that. And she starts remembering stuff like that. So that sounds like a movie and I'm excited. That sounds like something I would watch. Okay, the next book is called Tarnished City. It has to do with magic. That's all I know. Again, I don't know anything about these books. They, they're like, these look interesting and we think Katie would like them. So they got them which I appreciate. I just don't know anything about them. So it doesn't help my case in this video right now. Um, the next one is called The Gallery. Um, again, I don't know what it's about, but the cover is really pretty. Like, I mean, it's really pretty. I am sorry, I have no help in these videos today, but I have no idea what it's about. Um, the next one is called Time Shards, and this is What If Time Itself Is Shattered. So it sounds like it's a sci-fi. I'm not big into sci-fi, but it's okay. We'll, we'll give it a shot. We will give it a shot. So that's what that looks like there. And then the next book is Romeo, Juliet, and Jim. All I know is Romeo and Juliet's trying to get together and Jim's trying to steal their thunder. That's about all I know in this book. It sounds funny. So, I thought that was a book. And then the last book in this haul is called Tonight the Streets Are Ours. And it looks like this. Don't know what it's about. But that's okay, because I really don't know what many of these books are about. Oh, there is 
technically two more things. I don't even know if this is interest to anybody, but I love Happy Planner. Like I, I absolutely love the Happy Planner stuff. I love Happy Planner line. I love planners. I love everything. So I went ahead and I bought myself the um, 18 month book planner and it's like, it's their book one. Um, Cause I'm gonna use it to track my um, reading, like what I read for the day and also the video, my videos that I wanna do. So I got that. And then I got the sticker book, the bookish um, sticker book because I thought the stickers were cute inside, especially these. Let me find them, let me find them, let me find them. Okay, I found them. Look at the plants, aren't they cute? I love it. Okay, that's it. That's it for the month of June. No more hauls. I've done enough. Yeah, I may, but I'll have more in July, but that's just because I have no shelf control. Haha, ha, I'm so funny. No, I'm not. That was cringy and none of you are laughing. But uh, yeah, yeah, that is, that's it. I hope you guys enjoyed this video. If you did, consider giving the thumbs up and maybe subscribing, you know, if you want to see more videos of me. All my social media is linked down below as well as a link to vote if you're not registered to vote because if you're eligible to vote, you need to register to vote, you need to do it, you just need to do it because your voice needs to be heard in this time in our society. But um, I hope you guys enjoyed this video and I will see you all in the next one. Bye guys. <sighs> my mom interrupted me in my videos. Who oh, she thinks she is? I won't get her.